things aren't looking good for the team at Archwell, following two shock, high-profile resignations from the organization founded by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex within the last week, composed of Archwell Audio, the Archwell Foundation and Archwell Productions. The timing is far from perfect, as Harry and Meghan prepare for the launch of their highly anticipated two-part Netflix documentary, promising an in-depth, behind-the-scenes look at their lives. Rebecca Sanings, who was fundamental in the creation of Megan's podcast Archetypes is stepping down after just over a year at the company, with reports circulating that she is keen to launch a project on her own terms. The first season of the chart-topping podcast hosted guests such as Trevor Noah, Andy Cohen, Judd Apatow, Jamila Jamil, Sophie Trudeau, Paris Hilton, Constance Wu, Mindy Kaling and many more. It is unclear yet whether or not there will be a second season of the audio show, with no announcement yet made over its future. Ms. Sennings was hired in July 2021 after working for Vox Media and New York Magazine's Pivot Podcast, hosted by Kara Swisher and Scott Galloway. She joined Archwell in August 2021 and reported to Ben Browning, Archwell's head of content. In October, Ms. Sanange wrote on Instagram, the podcast industry is severely undervalued and undercrediting the incredibly talented and hardworking producers and sound engineers behind your favorite shows. There are fewer and fewer opportunities for creators and it is stifling the industry creatively and financially. She then edited the post to add, to be clear this isn't about me or my current position. It's an observation of the state of podcasting as a whole, and Inside told Page Six that Miss Sanane's departure is reportedly part of a larger growth plan for the Sussexes brand. A replacement, Serena Regan, has already been hired. Interesting, on top of this, Archwell President Mandana Dayani, who has run the three-pronged organization for less than 18 months has also quit her role this week. Even more spectacularly is that she will not be replaced, with Harry and Meghan stepping up to take full charge. In a statement, Archwell said, Mrs. Dayani was brought on during, the Sussexes, parental leave to move the company and its projects forward. Her transition was mutually planned, with the intent for the Duke and Duchess to now take full lead of their company. There will be no replacement for this position, and Ms. Dayani is fully supportive of the Duke and Duchess in their new leadership roles, and they remain friends. An insider source added, Mandana is a clever woman, she will continue to be in the spotlight. You always saw her with Harry and Meghan looking glossy and poised and in her heels. She has her own brand, she knows what she's doing.